Hey guys, Levi here with Trident Fly Fishing, and today we're going to be tying Olsen's Blowtorch. Solid Euro Nymph pattern. Pretty easy to tie, and we'll get started right now. We have a TMC 403 BLJ hook in the vise. This is a size 12, but this fly can go 8 all the way down to 18 or so. So we also have a 3.8 inch or 3.8 millimeter uh, copper bead in there. It's tungsten. So let's wind a couple of wraps of lead and get those just pushed right into that bead. That'll secure everything and it will also add a little extra weight in there. So get that in there and then we're gonna wind the hook with some thread and for thread we're using 6 aught uni in the color tan so just to the bend and we can even drop it down below the bend a little bit and we're gonna move into some orange antron yarn here for the tail we don't need a lot so cut yourself off a half inch and we'll Tie that right down into the abdomen, right where the bend starts. And you can wrap that back a little bit. And then run that excess up the abdomen and into the thorax, right to the lead, and then snip the excess. We'll bring our thread about mid shank and we're going to move into some copper wire. It's ultra wire, size small. So get yourself off a few inches and we'll tie that in right in the middle and we'll wrap it on up and then wrap it back. And we want this underbody to be nice and clean and tapered in general Euro nymph fashion. So I'm just making that body with my thread. We want it to be larger in the thorax and skinnier at the tail. And we'll mimic that with our dubbing, which we're gonna get into now. And we're using ice dub. This is peacock black. This is a fly you can tie. Dark, light, really any variety of colors you can come up with but they just stalked a bunch of trout in southern Maine and uh, these dark shiny colors tend to be pretty effective for them. So we want to get this tightly wound on the thread so we can get that slim profile. And all the materials that we're working with today can be found at tridentflyfishing.com and orders over 49 bucks do ship for free. So. And you want to make sure your dubbing's tight on your thread so you can get that slim bodied profile. And you'll see I'm just adding dubbing as I go. So you don't want to overdub your thread. And you want to get as smooth and neat of a body as possible. Ooh. See, I spread that out a little bit. And right now we're about 40% of the way up the hook shank. So we can fatten that thorax area up and add some bulk. And you'll see it getting just a little beefier in that thoraxic area. And we'll run that up to be just behind our bead. And you'll see that nicely tapered profile. Now we're just going to wind it with some of that uh, ultra wire. You can use flashaboo if you want a little extra flash, but with this uh, ice dub, it's already plenty flashy. And I like the segmentation and durability you get out of the wire. Just my personal preference. So save your scissors the trauma and pop that off. Now we're going to move into some CDC. This is the color natural done. Any earthy color is going to do fine for this fly. We're going to wrap it like a soft hackle. So get in there and you'll see these 
long fibers down here at the bottom. Just get rid of those on either side. And then we're going to grab it at the tip and just sweep these fibers rearward. And we'll tie this feather in right behind the bead at about a 45 degree angle facing southwest. So snip the uh, tip and then we'll just start to wrap this. And you'll see when I wrap this, I wrap with my right hand and then sweep everything back with my left. You don't need a whole lot of wraps here, it's just kind of to imitate the legs. Or if you're fishing a hatch, maybe an emerging insect. So get that tied in and then have a little bit of black thread there or brown thread there all right so we're gonna hide that thread just with a little bit more dubbing right in front of those CDC fibers so just tie everything together make it a little more neat so now we can whoop, now we can throw a half hitch and then a whip finish And that is an Olsen's blowtorch. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.